What's going on everybody? Doug here, just got done seeing Killers of the Flower Moon. I know, I am super late to this movie. Um, I missed it when it came out a few months ago. I finally caught up with it. You know, is it Scorsese's best movie? No. Um, I definitely liked it more than Silence and The Irishman, but I still think I haven't loved a movie of his probably since Wolf of Wall Street, which again, 10 years ago, which is hard to believe. Um, the MVP of this movie for sure is the acting. Lily Gladstone is the MVP. She's phenomenal in this. You know, I don't think this is Leo's best movie. I think I've seen him in better movies in the past couple of years. To me, he's kind of playing with a character of Rick Dalton from his last Tarantino movie. Um, but you know, again, great acting across the board for sure. Uh, great, great production design, really good cinematography. Um, with that said though, it has a pacing issue for sure. It's three and a half hours way too long. This could be made two and a half, 245 tops. Uh, it drags on definitely a bit. But again, great cinematography, great production design, everything. Um, but I think it gets a little too convoluted with some of the characters. There's a lot of characters in this, and I think it could be focused on maybe a few of them. Or just maybe just um, DiCaprio, De Niro, and Gladstone. And even De Niro, too. There's been a lot of things that have been kind of questionable of his career in the past couple years. But I think this one has better, definitely better performances more recently. But yeah, I mean, it was okay. Again, had definitely... Be like liked it more than the Irishman and Silence, but not as good as like you know Goodfellas or Departed or The Fall Street. But um, yeah, I think it'll be on Apple TV, Apple TV Plus some soon too. So look out for that. Look out for my full review on our YouTube channel that was our podcast feed. As always, guys, we'll see you at the movies.